What's going on guys? Welcome back to this video. Today we're going to talk about hardware hacking. Specifically, we're going to discuss firmware analysis. So before we discuss firmware analysis, let's first understand the process of hardware hacking. So hardware hacking, if we are discussing this term from the perspective of a white hat hacker, here we're talking about testing the security of a hardware. Now a hardware device, can be any device it could be a pc it could be a cell phone uh, it could be radio it can be also external disk such as hdd or ssd all right so when we mention the term hardware hacking here we are talking about assessing the security of the hardware device PC, cell phone, radio also I forgot to mention the switches also you have routers so how are hacking in a very short uh, in a very short uh, or a brief manner it is the process of assessing the security of the uh, said devices that fall under the category of being hardware Okay, one of the methods to assess the security of a hardware is to analyze the firmware. So probably guys, if you have a router in your home, um, one of the best security practices is to update your firmware. You may have heard this term before, update or firmware update, update your firmware. So updating your firmware is making sure that you have the latest updates from the manufacturer of the firmware. Say you have an ASUS router. So ASUS in their official website, they have a specific firmware, we call it firmware, dedicated to uh, the router, okay? Now, when you download the firmware, or when you bring the router, to, or you deploy the router in your house, you're, you're actually running the router on this firmware. So when the manufacturer releases newer versions of this firmware, you have to update your router. Or you heard or you heard the term update your firmware to make sure that you receive the latest updates and modifications on the firmware now a firmware usually the firmware is written directly into the hardware the firmware contains the apps okay it may contain file system it contains anything necessary okay so that the hardware can run smoothly that is what it is firmware so when we assess the security of router switch or pc we start with dumping or extracting the firmware image so first we extract the firmware image okay after we extract the firmware image so that's the first thing we call it firmware extraction That's the first step. Next, after extracting the firmware, we will want to analyze the firmware image. Now, the firmware image may come in various forms. It could be firmware.bin in binary form. It could be in other forms. For example, let's see here. Um, as you can see, guys, we have other many forms. It can come as JF. FS2, which is other form journaling flash file system version 2. So it could be with this extension. It can also come with UBIFS, which you also use in flash devices. So once you extract a firmware, your firmware image will have the binary extension or these extensions. The next step we want to analyze the firmware, we want to, to take a look at the contents of the firmware. So for that, we have various tools at our disposal. For example, one of the firmware analysis tools is to start with the native file command in Linux. So we say file and then put in the firmware image name as a command line argument. The file command will tell us the nature of the image. For example, if we run the file command on a firmware image 
that contains um, Linux file system, file command will report to us that this image is squash fs, which is the compressed uh, file system or compressed Linux file system. If you see squash fs in the output of the file command, it means that the firmware image contains Linux file system. Okay. Now it could be VHD. VHD is used in Windows systems to indicate that this image contains file system that was running on a virtual machine. So now when we see VHD or we see SquashFS, we have a chance now to take a look and explore the file system and the files, right? Including the applications installed, the user files, the directories, so on and so forth. Configuration files, passwords, users. Okay, so that's uh, an example if the firmware image contains file system for an operating system. Sometimes the firmware image contains uh, signals captured using hardware uh, equipment. For example, let's say we have a hardware device such as radio. Okay, and then we connect here serial cable and then we have here uh, our equipment let's say it's an external storage okay what happens here the, this we, we, what we're going to do we are actually capturing the signal from the radio and storing the output in the storage that we have connected to the serial cable so the through serial connection we will be able to capture the signals. Most of the time we use this to capture SSTV signals, which is uh, which stands for slow scan television, slow scan TV, or to capture software defined radio signals. Okay, so when we capture the signal, we store the output at the storage device. What happens next, we will have the firmware image. Now, most of the time, the extension will be different if you are analyzing radio signals. For example, let's take a look here at some of the ex extensions. Some of the most popular extensions for software-defined radio signal is we have CF32, FC32 and CF file. That's for software defined radio signals. If we're talking about SSTV signals, some of the most pop popular extensions is .sal. Right now, that's for that's now we explained the firmware extraction and how to recognize the firmware image. Okay, now let's talk about the analysis. We start with the analysis. Now, we already mentioned that in the analysis phase, this is extraction 3. In the analysis, we can use the file command built in Linux to uh, take a look at the nature of the firmware image. We can also use strings built in tool. We can also use binwalk. Binwalk can be used to, uh, to extract the contents of the firmware. So let's say you have run file command on the firmware.binary image and you have found that the firmware contains VHD or Windows uh, Windows image that was run was, was running on uh, Hyper-V or virtual machine. The next step now is to use binwalk dash E okay, and then the firmware. What's going to happen, we're going to demonstrate with an example in a, in a while, it's going to extract the contents of the firmware image. Okay, The output will be, you're going to have either the Windows file system, or you're going to have Linux file system, directories such as etc, uh, home. In Windows, you could have an enti the entire dump of the C drive. So you can rely solely on built-in tools in Kali Linux. Now, somewhat, if you are not satisfied with these tools, we can use third-party tools. One example is 
Let's show an example of third-party tools that can be used to analyze firmware images. Firmware Walker. This is Firmware Walker, which is an automated tool that allows you to explore and extract the contents of a firmware. A simple bash script for searching the extracted or mounted firmware file system. It will search through the extract or mounted firmware file system for things of interest, such as etc, configuration files, passwords, binary files, so on and so forth. There is an attached file here. It is squash root file system. Uh, you can we can actually use this example image to demonstrate how the tool works. So now let's jump to a practical scenario. So here in the hardware hacking directory, I have two firmware images. And I have firmware or firm walker, the tool we have talked about. Let's first start with a preliminary analysis. Let's assume that you don't have any external tool to analyze the firmware that you have extracted. So we start with the file command and let's say we're gonna analyze this firmware image. Now, see this output. From the output, we can conclude that this is Linux image. Linux kernel ARM boot executable, Z image. So it represents Linux file system. The next step is to use binwalk, dash E, and then firmware.bin. We aim to extract the Linux file system after we have confirmed that this belongs to a Linux. Gonna hit enter. And now, now look at the last line. The last line is a confirmation that indeed this is squash fs file system okay now what we can do we can take a look at the contents of the current directory we can see there is a new directory created underscore firmware.bin so this contains the extracted file system from the firmware image if we now browse to this directory ls and now we can see guys all of the files directories that were compressed into this firmware image This includes text files, all sorts of files. All right, now depending on your objective, you can start exploring the files and directories. It all depends on what you're looking for when you analyze a, a firmware image. Most of the most popular, uh, most popular uh, task is to search the configuration files, text files, PHP files for a certain pattern. For that purpose, we can use a grep. For example, if we scroll up, you can see an example of a grip where we can search for a pattern such as a password. So with this command, let's grab this command. See, guys, what we're doing here, we are searching the firmware image. Okay. Specifically, we are looking in the text, configuration, XML, PHP files, if they can turn if they contain a pattern that matches the word password. So all I have to do now is to enter this command. Before we enter this command, we're gonna have to define where it's gonna be applied. So we are under this directory, I'm going to apply the command and see if we can find any password here. As you can see, there is no output returned. It means that there is no pattern that matches the word password, okay, in the given example. What if we decided to use um, the firmware worker to automate the process? So here we go back, and let's assume we want to work with this image. So we use firm walker, okay, so cd firm walker. Now we have this script. We're gonna give it permission to run. And then we're going to start this. Okay, so let's um, define the image. So this directory is correct. We're gonna say firmware dot bin. Okay, that's it. That's the command. We run the command. 
and we can see that the tool is searching for the pattern as you can see it was searching for ip addresses urls emails ssh keys api keys passwords now to take a look at the output we can skip the output returned ls and there is a new file that has been created firmware walker we can cat the file and take a look again at the contents as you can see there was no match found right so it was looking for patterns but it the pattern were not found now let's go back to the tool page so we click on the link provided the link provided here uh, shows us a breakdown of the file so here we have the firmware image given and here we have the output file that was created when the firmware or the firm worker was run so if we take a look now at the file text file this text file matches the text file that was created when we run the tool locally on my machine matches this one but in my case uh, it didn't find any match in the firmware image i am using but let's take a look at the firmware image used by the author so here you can see guys for example in this output file for every match it gives you the location of the file so it found configuration files that end with the extension.conf and it reported the location of these files so you can go back and explore them yourself again here it reported the location of shell scripts scrolling down we can see also instances of the files containing the word admin root this is very beneficial if you are doing a penetration testing on firmware images so this tool will save you the time instead of using manual analysis tools now an additional tool if you want to explore more about analyzing firmware images is um, FactCore so FactCore is a firmware analysis and comparison tool intended to automate most of the firmware analysis much like the uh, firm worker so we can take a look at this tool now i'm not going to demonstrate how it works but we're going to take a look at the page it does very similar job to uh, firm worker all you have to do is to run the tool against the firmware image again we have fw analyzer which is also another tool to analyze all sorts of firmware images containing all sorts of file systems. Okay, what about now radio signals? So, for radio signals, we have what's called logic analyzers. Universal Radio Hacker. Take a look at this tool. Universal Radio Hacker is a tool used to analyze um, signals or firmware images containing software defined radio signals but this applies only if you have captured or created a firmware image or captured a firmware image using serial connection directly to the device okay guys so i hope this was helpful and definitely guys i'm gonna see you in the next video